Good morning. This is my reflection for this Sunday's Gospel, 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time, from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 13, verse 24 to 23. You know what? There are plenty of balimbings nowadays. Today, they are loyal to you. Tomorrow, they become disloyal to you. They tend to love you now, but tomorrow, they will hate you. And even to the point of disowning you. It happens to every Christian. A Christian might be loyal to Jesus now, but because of his selfish reasons or whatever reasons, he would choose the devil instead of our Lord. Choosing our Lord is a difficult task but from the beginning God has a plan for all of us we are surrounded with weeds nowadays we are surrounded with weeds and God would allow it to grow together until harvest time and the Lord is telling us and even testing us if we will remain loyal to Him. Wag kang balimbing. The second point. Huwag mo ipilit na kami maging balimbing. For those who are against the church, for those who are against Christ, for those who don't want to believe in Christ, for those who do not have faith in Christ, Wag mo ipilit na kami maging balimbing kay Kristo. Because we will remain loyal to Jesus, lovers of our Blessed Mother, protectors of the teachings of our Lord until the end of time. You might be successful in destroying churches or destroying the dignity of others, or even destroying the reputation of somebody else out there. But you will never be able to destroy the plan of God for all of us. And therefore, do not force yourself that we will become part of being a balimbing to Jesus. Thirdly, huwag matakot sa balimbing. You might be wearing horns now or having horns like the goat, like the face of the evil one. But we have Christ in us. You can destroy our bodies, but you can never destroy our soul. It belongs to Jesus. We were consecrated to Jesus from the moment we were baptized. Just recall and remember that God loves you. Our enemy will disappear. The weed will remain. It will be there. And sometimes it will outgrow us, the weeds. But be steadfast in your faith. Because in the end, during harvest time, we will be with our Lord, the harvester of good souls. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, stick to your faith. 
and always remember this face loves you so much. Wag kang balingbing sa kanya. Amen.